So, we're going to talk about caring. Caring is so cool. <laughs> it's what? It's in between us. It's the glue. It's about what we can do together and where that can bring us and what that can inspire. Sharing and caring is really related. They're like sisters, share and care, you know? After all, what is a world without care? It's a pretty darn bleak one. I know we all have things we care about. I mean, some people care about being home in time for dinner, and some people care about there being people who are homeless or who have no food, or about things like that. Caring, caring, caring is, is important. important. Caring is a heart thing. Caring is making room for others. Why, Why do we, we care? care? I care because, because I can't afford not to. <laughs> it's like when you see a thing, you cannot unsee it, right? For me, like, I was always a very sensitive kid and was bullied and kind of didn't have any friends for many years. And I don't know if that informed my experience of, you know, of caring, not wanting others to suffer in the same way. You know, what is a life worth living if you're not leaving behind something positive, right? If you're not bringing value to the lives of others. It's funny because I think I'm very much the black sheep of the family. My family is not a social justice family. We're not people that grew up listening to the CBC. So I don't quite know where it comes from. But I believe very much in like community and caring. Don't really care about politics. I'm more about heart and head. I just think I have a heightened sense of pulling for the underdog, you know? It's my values, it's my faith. And when my daughter needed mental health services, there was nothing in this area. So now I want to make a difference and help others who are in the same situation. If you care for something, you want to protect it. You want to hold it close. I care for these trees here. So I have to respect them, like the tea we're going to drink. So today, we're, we are drinking Knick Knick Labrador tea from the Yukon. I don't care about the things some people complain about. You know, like first world problems. I, uh, I care about faith, my faith. I think part of caring, you know, is to understand the great power of the creator who has greatest capacity to care. Hmm, this tea is yummy. I mean, we're all one family, no matter where we come from. We're all human. Well, I care profoundly because we're talking about an existential crisis that uh, literally could spell the end of humankind. And I, I have children and grandchildren, and I don't want them to live in a world where they're struggling for literally, you know, for their lives. I mean, we really are in a climate emergency, and understanding that lit a fire under me in terms of her... I need, I need to do something now. Caring is appreciating and respecting the land. I don't care about people who don't cut their grass. I say let the wildflowers grow and the bees come. Well, for me, it's my job to care. I think as a nurse, like, you have to care, although some don't. For me, I work with street-involved people that have spent so many years in prison or out in the streets not even knowing if they're going to eat, and that have almost died, lost family, lost friends, to addiction, to poor social economic conditions, you know? They have struggled their whole, their whole life, and when you like see those people, and then you think about your little personal problems, it puts everything in perspective. And I love human beings. I think that's the main part. I just love human beings. Caring is doing the right thing for people and the planet. And I don't care about poo and pee and like nudity and all that kind of thing. You're like very exposed to that as a nurse. I mean, if you knew the amount of butts I see in a week. <laughs> I work in a caring profession, but I think the most important caring thing that I'm involved with right now is within my family, right? Being a mom and being a daughter and a wife and all the things that you know you do for your families, especially as a woman. I don't know, there's just something in me that says if you can do something, you need to do it. Because you never know, one day maybe it's your turn. This is silly. It's always stuck in my head. I was very young and this lady, our neighbor, she was in a very bad situation. And she was very, very, 
very abused. And she ended up actually killing her husband in self-defense, and she went to jail, right? And my mom went and visited her in jail because nobody else would. And my mom's like, I'm not judging whether she was right or wrong. She's alone. She's sad, and she needs someone, and I think I'm going to go visit her. And she did. So I grew up like that. I just don't care about her gossip on social media. So when I hear about the wars, you know, going on in the world, I felt like I needed to do something. Like, what can I do? How can I help? I just had this thing that said, you need to do something like, you can't be one of those people that says, oh, geez, those poor refugees. I wanted to do something to help them. So I did. Prendre soin, c'est pour moi. Prendre soin de, de la personne où elle est en ce moment dans sa vie. Dog poop. I know it's gross, but I just don't care. Well, I'm not the kind of person that just sits on a beach. So I try to make a difference. My parents were refugees from the war with limited resources, yet they were always willing to help other family members financially and welcome them and others to our home. But like when I left university, I was just thinking of myself. I didn't give too many thoughts about other people. But then, in the process of caring for my husband, I became a much more compassionate person. He, he became quite sick, and he needed a lot of care. It's not like I would have wished it on myself, but it certainly taught me a lot about being kind and caring. So I became a much better person for it. Caring is always keeping your door open to anyone who needs it. I don't care about the monarchy and all their, you know, silly squabbles. Yeah, I've always been involved with our church, work, and now volunteer at the food pantry here, which is all about helping people that need food. And our motto is that no one should go hungry in Canada. And unfortunately, they do. It's terribly sad, eh? Say a prayer. Offer, offer your request to the Creator to make this an easier place to live. Do you want some more tea? You know, growing up, my mother did instill a very big sense of the world. And the way our kitchen was, there was a broom closet with a door, and the door would open up, and there was a photo of a starving child inside. And whenever we wouldn't finish our food or complaining about our food, my mom would open the broom closet and say, look, look at that. Do you know how lucky you are? <laughs> Why not care? I mean, we're mainly privileged people, and we live in a mainly privileged community. Although, sometimes it's the people who don't have a lot who give to others. I remember, you know, in high school, where many of the kids were quite poor and had torn clothes. <laughs> Before that was in style. And at lunchtime, they would share their lunch with those who didn't have any. Je sais pas. Il y a beaucoup de choses qui ne m'intéressent pas. Beaucoup. Caring, Caring is, is hard. hard. I've witnessed a lot of sadness and lots of tears. Sometimes they came from others, but often they were mine. Caring is, it can be really exhausting. It can be really frustrating. It can be really depressing. We're all struggling. We're struggling to be the best human beings we can be. And sure, we're all going to fall down and wallow around. And you know, that's how you grow. You grow by moving through times of tests, times of difficulty, times when you just say, oh man, I have so much darkness here and I don't even have a little match. I don't care about having the right cell phone or the latest video game. For me, it takes a big toll. Mental health, physical health, and there's always a little bit of guilt. I should be doing something because the work never stops. If you stop doing something, it means it's not getting done. There's never enough time. I mean, some people, I'm sure, think what I do is wonderful. And then if you ask my kids, like, what's wrong with mommy? And my kids will say, you have no time for me. I mean, having kids, I think, really tempers what you can do. A top up, hmm? Caring can turn you inside out and upside down. Hmm, I think caring is vulnerable, right? It's putting your energy into something that you hope will be worthwhile. And when it doesn't pan out, it hurts. And one of the loneliest feelings in the world is feeling like you're the only one who cares about something. 
On voit des choses très traumatiques. Par exemple, je suis souvent en contact avec la mort. Et ce n'est pas tout le monde qui sait ça, parce que je ne peux pas toujours partager. Caring can bring us joy. Well, you feel like you're at least doing something to help make the world a better place. It feels good to try to make a difference. It's very satisfying. My heart feels full, like all the time. I think it's, it's had a wonderful impact on my life. I mean, when I first moved here, I didn't really know anyone. So I just started volunteering, and that's how I found a lot of people that are in my circle. Well, no, it doesn't keep me awake at night. I mean, I don't wake up in the night, except to pee, and two minutes later, I'm back to sleep. I asked my grandfather, you know, when he turned 100, Grandpa, how is it that you live to be 100, and you're never sick ever in your life? And he just thought, and he said, you know why? He says, because I take care of people. And the Creator, he takes care of me so I can be healthy and take care of people. That's why. Caring is love. Caring is deep. Caring, Caring is, is not, not enough. enough. I mean, there are so many critical questions that could be raised. You know, like, why are people hungry? Why do we need food, a food cupboard? Why is there no affordable housing? Why is our earth going, I mean, burning up at an alarming rate? I think if we care, it, we need to ask those questions and try to do something about it. There's the quote from Idle No More that I kind of like. I'm no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. <laughs> so say we talk about reconciliation, and I say, well, I'll tell you one thing. You have to do your work. I'm doing my own work. And together, together, we can make a difference. But I'm not going to do your work for you. Be the change you want to see in the world. It always spoke to me because you can sit at home wringing your hands that I wish there was, I wish there was, but we need to start doing something about it. Caring, Caring is, is taking, taking action. action.